All right, friends, to get started today, there are several materials we are going to be using. First, you're going to get a messy mat, your artwork, and a Sharpie. When you get your artwork back, you're going to trace over all your pencil lines with a Sharpie. We're using Sharpies today because we are also painting and we want um, it to be permanent. So trace over all your pencil lines with that Sharpie. When you get done tracing your lines with the Sharpie, then we're going to be coloring in our birds. Now let's think, we're gonna be coloring in our three birds using a certain color scheme. Does anybody remember what that color scheme is called? That's right, primary colors. And you we're gonna be using crayons to color in our bird. So I'm gonna find the three primary colors. It does not matter which birds you color in what colors as long as you're only using the three primary colors. I colored in my smallest bird yellow, my medium bird red, and my largest bird blue, but you can color yours in however you wish, in whatever order. I also wrote my name with a Sharpie in the top right corner of my paper. I am using some extra crayons. I'm using orange for the beak and brown for the legs. Later, when we paint, if you use a crayon for most of the details of your artwork, then you can actually paint right over them because crayons are made out of wax and wax and water resist each other. So when you start painting, we're gonna have a water cup and a paintbrush. Remember to treat your brush like a ballerina and gently swirl your brush around in a circle to start waking up the colors. If you hear your brush or if it sounds dry and scratchy, that means there's not enough water or paint on your brush. So you may need to go back into the water cup, back into the paint so that it flows smoothly. Nice, even strokes. And you don't wanna be able to hear your brush. I'm painting my background blue, but you can decide on what color you want to paint your background. Maybe you have a beautiful sunset in your background, or maybe it's a nice blue sky. And finally, I'm painting in the stem, the leaves, and the grass at the bottom. When you're completely done painting, your messy mat and artwork are gonna go on the drying rack.